So hello and welcome along today to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're looking at this, the new Lexmoto Michigan. A little bit of revamp on the old style. Now this one looks silver, they call it the industrial grey. What a nice looking bike that is. Absolutely amazing little 125 cruiser bike. Now as you look round the bike, obviously it has been raining today. You'll notice it's got the side access for the key. Typical cruiser style side axis for the key. Roll it off the stand and we're just going to fire this one up. As you can tell, a pair of that engine, absolutely lovely. Nice big footboards to both sides of the bike. And we're just going to take this out for a short run. Now as you look down on the telltales in front, you can notice you've got your gear indicators as well. So we're going to take this out for a quick first ride around town just to let you know what this bike actually handles like. So up into second gear as you can see, then into third. As you go through your gear changes, indicator in front is telling you exactly what gear you are in. So it is very, very lovely. And obviously this is a brand new bike, so we are going to stick to it around about 40 mile an hour until the owner has run that bike in. Seat on this, very, very nice and comfortable. Very, very easy with those big footboards just to uh, get your feet up. And the gear changes are very, very soft on the foot. So, lovely little bike on this one. Nice big wide bars, and it's got the nice raised cruiser style bars on this as well. So, just looking big wide mirrors out to the sides as well. So, it's got some lovely mirrors on this. Nice, easy access to all those instruments in front of you as well. So, very, very big dial telling me exactly my speed. I do like that. That's a very, very good idea on this one. As we wait for lorries to get out of the way. As you pull through the gears, it's very, very easy. Just to uh, keep control of those controls. Everything's very, very easy to the hand as well. So left-hand console, you've got your indicators horn just below that. You've got the main and the dip beam to the left. And also now we've got a new hazard light switch, which is just to the right on this. Coming up on the back brake, and that dual braking is absolutely lovely. But just shifting to a right-hand indicator, and there we go, as you can see, up on the screen. Very, very bright is your indicator light on that one. So just waiting for the traffic to clear. And then we'll be taking it down a couple of dual carriageways. Now one thing with the Lexmoto range, they do come out with some novel ideas. They've dropped a couple of the scooters off the latest brand, but this new Michigan is very, very comfortable to sit on. And I've said in previous blogs, I am not a, much of a cruiser lover, but the ride styling on this, at very, very low speeds, it does handle very, very well. Just taking it nice and slow through the gears. And we'll sit that at a nice, steady fifth gear, 30 mile an hour. And even from them very low revs, a little bit of throttle, and you can just feel a little bit of torque coming on, so it, it does pull very, very easy through the gears. So just taking it round the roundabout. Obviously I've got fresh rubber on this, so I've got to be very, very careful about cornering at the moment until that rubber is worn in. But off the mirrors, there is quite a lot of vision behind me. I can see perfectly well over both shoulders. So very, very easy to uh, manoeuvre. Does handle very well. And it sits very, very planted, as do all the Lex Motos. You know, it's not going to be your big 650 Tourer. You're not going to fly along at huge amounts of miles per hour. But if you have seen other blogs on this, uh, one of the other bloggers 
did actually get this up to 71 mile an hour. All right, it was uh, screaming its head off, <coughs> but he did actually get it up to 71 mile an hour. 125s are not designed for that type of speed. You want something like 70, 80 mile an hour, go and get yourself a 250 or a something bigger. But 125, as I always say, ample for round town, doing all your bits and pieces. backwards and forwards to work or just your weekend run around you're looking at miles to the gallon you're looking at an urban commute it's nice and easy to maintain on that and once again it feeds very very nice through the roundabouts handles very very well I'm just going to go down my favourite bit of dual carriageway and then back round and then back to the garage again but coming off the roundabout once again into the corner and for a cruiser look, it is very planted let's drop the visor down for a little bit so I can have a, a nice big chat with you guys so moving over once again looking at that speedo in front of me there we go you can actually see your speed fifth gear and just come in on the dual braking again this is just off the back brake clutching and it does pull up very very well on that dual braking as usual it's got the uh, Euro 4 daytime running lights and lights are permanently on light on this is very very bright gorgeous little bike this so ideal cruiser if you wanted something to sort of puddle around town something different from your normal tourers this is nice it's got the LED indicators bulb front light to it LED indicators all round LEDs to the rear as well on the stoplight uh, it's coming off the throttle working through the gearbox it's lovely. It's got a nice little chug 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 purr 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 to it. And let's just see if this does actually keep up with the flow of traffic. So we're down in uh, first gear. Just pulling away. See, and even car drivers leave their indicators on. It's not just a bike thing. So, pulling through the gearbox, nice low revs just to keep it going. And it's straight up to 30 mile an hour, keeping up with the flow of traffic, so you're not going to be worried about other cars behind you, or will I manage to maintain with the flow of traffic? It does. As you can tell, that little 125 engine just working away below me. Once again, working through the gearbox. And as you can tell, even on damp road conditions, just leaning it in, it does steer very, very well. We're just going to come in hard on the brakes bit of both on it this time, front and back and it does pull up even in damp conditions very very quickly 
nice big fluid container as well so that brake reservoir is very very big and it's nice to see that they've actually put some uh, nice styling to this bike it does look very very nice once again low speed handling and as you can tell very very nice so into about the last quarter of a mile or so back to the garage Everyone stops to let the lorry out. Once again, look at that. Nice low speed handling. Doesn't waver or falter like other bikes do. As we head back, last little bit, as you can see, even on the uh, big speed bumps, straight over. So this is a new uh, Lexmoto Michigan in industrial grey. What a sweet little bike this is, absolutely beautiful. So we're just going to pull up on the yard. One final look around this bike and that neutral light, there we go, nice and bright as well. And with this one, it does have side stand as well, but once you put the side stand down, it does have a kill switch attached to the machine. So, one final look at the Lexmoto Michigan in industrial grey. And as you can tell, that nice, bright front headlight, that is really bright. Really bright. So it's available at Eclipse.